things bright Everyone's happy Spirits are light I am sitting here thinking Alone with my drink As I do this time of the year Do you remember When love was around When we were aglow The talk of the town when I'm sitting here drinking I can't help but think about you About us as I do this time of the because I thought the wormy would want to take part in this, but she, she's not hanging out with me. Today I went to a little chocolate shop in Old Lille called Guillaume Vincent. It's just around the corner from Miert, so if you're standing in front of this place looking at it and you turn to the right, you'll see Miert just at the end of the street. It's a cute little chocolate shop. I went really early, so I was the only person there. There was an older woman behind the counter. She was really nice to me. I love that when you walk in, they have their chocolate boxes on display on pedestals to the left, and they look like eyeshadow palettes to me. It felt like walking into a makeup store or something, and I said that to the woman, and she she was like, oh, I never thought of it that way, but to me it was so clear. They, they all looked like eyeshadows. They were really pretty. Each palette or chocolate box has a different assortment of flavors. I decided on the floral ones because I've never had floral chocolates, but I have tried like their regular line. I've tried another box of six chocolates before. They were pretty ordinary flavors. The one that really stuck out to me was the matcha green tea chocolate. It was pretty good. It was very unique. I remember they had some unique flavors. There was one that was like honey rose. That was really interesting. I didn't want to get the same chocolates all over again, so this time I went with the floral palette. Yes, you can be a part of the video. I also got a marron glacé, candied chestnut. In French there is like, there's châtaigne and there's um, Marron. Marron, they're like bigger and I think that they have like the endosperm on the outside of the, the meat of the nut is easier to detach, but they're much more difficult to harvest and they're harder to come by. So they're very expensive. So this one marron classé costs something like three euros and 20 cents. That's pretty common. Like an entire box of marron glacé will cost you a lot of money. And I've personally just never understood it. I've had them before. And everyone around me who is French gets really, really excited about them. But I'm like, they're okay. They really just taste like a chunk of sugar to me. But I'm also not a big fan of candied fruits, I guess. So that could play a role in it. Anyway, I wonder how long she will actually let me... Is she just gonna let me do the whole video like this? <laughs> such a goober. <laughs> You're just enjoying the view, huh? You just, this is fine with her, apparently. <laughs> you crack me up. All right, that's enough. At this chocolate shop, I really appreciate that they give you the flavors of the chocolates. At the last place, I did handpick all of my chocolates. So it was kind of up to me to remember what was what, and I definitely did not remember what I got at all and had a really hard time guessing what they are. So at least I will know what I'm eating as I eat it. Let's get started, shall we? Oh wait, let me, let me get a sip of my, my AeroPress coffee. So this one is called Flower Power, and it is a 64% dark chocolate ganache from Peru, perfumed with geranium essence. 72% dark chocolate on the outside. Let's give it a, let's give it a pop. That's weird. <laughs> it tastes like my grandma's house smelled. It is indeed very floral. I'm not sure how I felt about that. That was confusing to my senses. That was a little weird. Okay. I cleansed my palate. No, I'm kind of nervous about the next one. <laughs> Berry purple. 
which is berry purple. Put it down, Betsy. You're gonna get chocolate all over your fingers, you child. All of these have a 64% dark chocolate ganache from Peru. So I'm just gonna skip that step for the next five chocolates. Cassis, uh, black currant, which is something I've never had until I came to France. It's a very popular syrup and, and flavor here in France. And violet. I do really like violet. On the other hand, I don't like fruity chocolate. That tastes like a Flintstones vitamin. Well, that is not great. That's taken me straight back to being in the top bunk of my bed as a child and my father bringing the bottle of Flintstones vitamins and giving me a blue one. I did not expect to go back there. We are not two for two right now. <laughs> I'm not enjoying that. Let's just power through. Let's just... Let's just pound these chocolates, you know? What do we got here? We've got um, ylang ylang. Is that how you say it? I don't know how, I've never known how to say it. Ylang ylang. Ylang ylang? Ylang ylang? You know what I'm talking about. Vanilla, okay, we've got something that I really like here. That one's good. It's weird. No, it's good. It's the vanilla that's doing it for me. It doesn't taste like perfume. I need to stop doing chocolates. If I have any more chocolate places on my list, I need to switch them out with pastry shops because chocolates are just a lot less interesting, it seems like. You just watch me pop it in my mouth and then they're like, nom, 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 nom. it tastes like chocolate. <laughs> Jasmine and bergamot. I'm gonna hate this. I do not like bergamot. It tastes like the house cleaner that my mom used when I was a child. Yep, that tastes like house cleaner to me. That's yucky. I'm not a fan of that. Wormy. Things are not going well, as far as chocolate is concerned. Is there a delivery guy here? Uh-oh. Is that guy delivering a package here? Oh, crap. I know that I didn't order any of this. I think I should finish the chocolate. I'm gonna finish the chocolates first. I'm a little overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed. I think I need to take a little break. A lot is happening right now. <laughs> I have something in my eye as well. And it's not tears. I'm not gonna cry this time. Let's get on to the next chocolate and then I'm gonna move on to these. I know somebody suggested that I like save all my gifts and open them in January so that everybody has something to look forward to, but um, I'm gonna take the first week off of January. So I just don't wanna make everybody wait until like the second week of January to see me open the things that they so very generously sent to me. So I, I'll open these when I'm done with these um, really gross chocolates. This one is... Oh man, this is gonna be so gross. <laughs> I didn't look at the flavors of these. I was just like, oh, flower, you know, cause I love surprises. That one is actually very delightful. I was afraid it would be really overpowering and overwhelming because lilacs are so strong. Oh, I used to have a lilac bush in my yard when I lived in Toledo and in the summer or spring, or whenever they bloom, it would blow through the entire house. It smelled so good. That's the best one so far. Mostly because it had the, the least amount of flavor so far. Okay, let's do the last one. <laughs> it's getting really late in the afternoon. That's why I'm kind of in a hurry. I usually try to finish filming by 1 p.m. and it's already 2.30. So that's why I'm like <laughs> I also just don't think it's very interesting to sit here and watch me eat chocolates, you know what I mean? <laughs> Raspberry and rose. I'm on the fence about rose. Sometimes I like rose. I like rose water stuff. We'll see. I don't like raspberry chocolate. It tastes like Flintstones vitamins again. Raspberry and rose is weird together. Well, that was that was a miss. Not a victory. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Today, we lost hard. They're not nearly as good as the ones from Canton Bailly. I really liked those chocolates. These ones, eh. I'm good. So, a little candy chestnut here. I couldn't resist. I was curious because I, you know, it had been a couple of days of me trying. Um, Chestnut stuff. You know I want to say muggle. <laughs> been a couple days of me trying chestnut stuff, and yesterday my chestnut experience was a little bit better than the day before. So, you know, I'm just gonna try the candy chestnut. This is one of the most traditional things that you can get in the wintertime in France. These are very expensive because they're difficult to harvest, they're more rare, and they take some time to candy. So, bottoms up is really sweet. I mean, it's like eating a block of sugar to me, but it costs as much as a pastry. I would take a pastry over that any day. I think if I had grown up 
with these and I associated them with really nice, warm, wonderful holiday memories, I would have a soft spot for these. But since I never had one until I moved to France in my 20s, they just don't do it for me. But I will eat it because it cost me like three euros and 20 cents. Okay, <laughs> I have to address the boxes <laughs> and I'm nervous. I don't want to cry again. <laughs> There is just something in my eye that is making me absolutely insane. I'm gonna open this stuff. I know that it's from you. <laughs> and I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I'm speechless. I'm totally speechless. I don't, I don't know what to say. You want me? Huh? You want to see what's inside? Another box! I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I want to look at this first. A mansion for one of your green pets. That's not you. From Mario. Mario is keeping an Excel sheet of Vlogmas, which I do look forward to the presentation of. <laughs> oh my god, I'm <laughs> I should, cannot be trusted with a knife. Can we sign it? Can we sign it? What if I open it and there's another box? Ah, it's beautiful. I can't get it out. Oh well, sorry. It's a flower pot! <laughs> It's lovely. <gasps> Who's gonna go in this? I really like the color. Look. Oh, it's so nice with my sofa. Thank you very much, Mario. That's so kind of you. Oh, it's lovely. Who are we gonna put in there? Look how cute it is. Oh, thank you so much. That's just so sweet. I finally started putting in all of my plants in Kashpo. Oh, I know what that is. It was another package, but it was from a company. What was I saying? Today is intense. He <laughs> was saying I started collecting cash pool because all of my plants, you know, I have like a hundred plants and they were all just in ugly plastic pots and it just looked terrible. And Miro, Miro, sorry. I don't know why I'm saying his name with a French R. Miro was like, you need to get some cash pool. Like that looks awful. And he wasn't wrong. And I'm very glad that he convinced me to get some. I keep saying cash pool, don't I? Cover pots. I'm sorry, I was just speaking French with the post office guy. <laughs> this day is a doozy! Thank you again, Mario. That's really, really kind of you. Very thoughtful, and I'm, I'm very grateful. The person who sent me the first couple of gifts did contact me, so I, I was able to put a face to the, the gifts that I received, and I'm, I'm very grateful. I don't know, I, I didn't want to say who it was because I suspect that that person would prefer to remain anonymous since, you know, they didn't leave any YouTube comments or anything like that. So I'm just respecting that person's privacy. I'm really happy that I was able to thank that person personally for those gifts. It's upside down, but it's a humidifier. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Good hell, oh good Lord. My heart cannot take all of this. <laughs> Where's the, okay, there's a note. There's a note, right? Okay. Merry Christmas, we love you. Not in a creepy way. <laughs> From a fellow plant lover. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. This is wonderful. My plants, thank you. My sinuses and, and my asthma, thank you. And thank you very much for loving me in a not creepy way. <laughs> I feel like when I put these boxes up, I'm um, marketing. Can, well, is this still in the frame? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Call me the boy. I'm probably gonna edit all of this out, but every few minutes I have to like take a moment to breathe. This is all very surreal, and um, I'm speechless. I feel like I should say I I I want to keep talking, but I'm completely speechless. Okay. Is there a message inside? <laughs> that's really cute. going bad. <laughs> um, if you intended to leave a note, let me know. Send me an email, leave a message in the in the comments so I can thank you. Teddy, Teddy loves this bag. <laughs> what are you doing, you silly goose? All right, that's enough. Don't destroy it. Some, that's a gift from somebody, puppy. Get him. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank
thank you so much, Mario. And thank you, fellow plant lover who loves me in a not so creepy way. And thank you, whoever sent me this wonderful kettle. Pretty soon, this is gonna be the apartment that YouTube decorated and cleaned and humidified and replenished with coffee and <laughs> other hot liquids. <laughs> For the chocolate place, Guillaume Vincent. I, of course, I forgot to give my ratings. The atmosphere was yummy. The woman was very pleasant and I really liked the interior. The atmosphere was yummy. The woman was very pleasant and we talked for a while and I liked the, the interior. The selection was yummy. It wasn't as good as Canton Bailly and the tastiness was yucky, to be honest. I did not enjoy that. So there you go, there are my ratings. I know that that's, you were just dying to know. <laughs> you were on the edge of your seat wondering, what is she going to say about the chocolate place? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end this video. I can't keep rambling on. It's very late in the day. I want to thank you very much. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. And that's enough. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Are you, are you seriously being as cute as you... Oh my gosh. You're the cutest. I love you. What you doing? <laughs> Come here. Come in. Woo! <laughs> he loves this bag so much.